We'll be having a marriage and family life management seminar booklet. I didn't know you were a doctor. Doctor or a theologian? Christian education with emphasis in Christian education with emphasis in um, school administration. Yeah. Christian education yeah. with emphasis in school administration. Yeah. And so where you get the doctor degree from, sir? I got it from an institution called the Vision International Education Network. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. But that's a huge achievement. You were doing it uh, while you were wanting to be Senator of Maggibi? No, I already completed it since 2012. Oh, I already doctor before you yeah. went 2014 for these elections? Yes, before 20, I got it 2012. How is the politics of Maggibi and running your institute? <laughs> Well, let me say thanks again. I'm here on the basis of human resource development. And the politics? <laughs> and, no, I will talk a little bit. All right. You know, and, and, and we are glad again for another privilege that is for us to come and share with our people knowledge. As you may be aware, the next time we sit on the platform, we always talk about the future of Liberia, the future of the children of Liberia, and giving the insight how to navigate to be successful in your career and whatever initiative that you do. Um, our coming here today comes from the background of, uh, as uh, you are aware that we have conducted a series of leadership mm -hmm. workshops, mm -hmm. um, training, um, one of the things that I'm passionate about um, in the county, in, Maggie, um, in, the, in many of our districts, we extended to Bond County, you know, we done several of those training there. Then our first debut, our debut was in Morovia in just recent time in March when we were privileged to come and do leadership training here. And our expectation was about 200 persons, but to our utmost surprise, we ended up with 425 persons in attendance on our leadership workshop. So right after our leadership workshop, there came this um, prop up about people engaging me and telling me that Senator, we need an, another concept that we can apply to our leadership. Um, Dara Zina was one of those that brought another Ella Lomo, who is in the assistant for Emma. And she also talked to me. A lot of people called me and talked to me that we need to have another component of this training. Mm -hmm. But this one should be concentrated on marriage and family life management. And so we come here today to discuss about marriage life marriage and family life management. So, you, so you're past, talking about a seminar? Yeah, yeah. Marriage so, and family life. Yeah, but for you, the past few days, uh -huh. um, last week I was in, that was last week, um, Friday, I was in Kagata Kondo, the education leadership workshop for for 15 schools, principals and vice principals of 15 schools. I done that, uh, completed it, then I, I was, uh, week before last, I was in the lower end in Hapel. Conducting training to so what's driving? Principles. What's the what's the force that drives you for a seminar for marriage and family life? Is that is that a symptom that a lot of marriages, a lot of family are getting broken, and uh, you need to be talking to us about uh, having a strong family bond? Yeah, it's it's not just about morality; mm -hmm. it's also about education. Okay, and I'm schooled in those facets, especially with reference that if you are a leader. You are leading others. You yourself must be able to lead your family. Mm -hmm. And there are some principles. The charity concepts. stars at home. Yeah, and because there are some principles and concepts that that turn it down into from your leadership to the family, from your family to your leadership. So it was on the basis of that. It was people who asked me that we should draw a you know um, uh, a note, a lecture note on this, and I was able to do the research, and that's why I come to share with them that. When are you gonna do that? This seminar is expected to be held on Saturday and at the Church of God. Right? Is that second or the, what, first? The second, the second, second of the July. Second, second of July. Where? It will be held at the Church of God right to Italy Junction here, um, where we have previously had the, the Strategic Leadership Conference for, for, for um, I don't know, community leaders. So, Dr. Tumala, anybody can just walk in on Saturday or you need to go through a formality and registration process? Yeah, this is how it is done. Yes, sir. Um, the first thing, most of our training we do, it, we do it because God has blessed us and we are very passionate about what we do. You know, um, so the, well, at, this, at this conference, um, the lecture is free. We bring in uh, experts in the, in the subject matter. Then also the certificate is free. Um, then um, from there, uh, only the feeding, the feeding, mm -hmm. you no, know, the burning of the feeding can be very high. So I alone cannot bear it. Okay. So we decided that uh, people made our contributions, 
and your contribution is ten dollars because you have a breakfast and you have a lunch. Okay. Yeah, that's how we do. It runs from like what nine to. Uh... It starts from nine to four thirty, but very interesting. Very how, how many day. days? Only one day. So one day. Oh, one day. One, one day. day seminar. Oh, day so. On Saturday. Anybody, I mean, you don't have to be a couple. You don't have to come in pair. You no, can, but the uh, thing about it, the thing about it is that that's why I said that is um, is is educational. Mm -hmm. It's not just moral. So it's good for, for anybody who thinks that you want to endeavor, you want to endeavor in this area, or you are in it. You don't understand the principles that are involved into it, or you you have a son or a daughter that you want to help to train them into it. You are a pastor. Or you are a leader and you have some complications especially so for people who go into this process so that you can be able to counsel them to guide them to put them on a footing that's why it's all about so it's merely for educational purpose for but 9 to 4 30 parents or can the youth come to young kids or just for family heads or no we are not restricting it it's not restricted it's not restricted the only thing is that um because as you said that this is a process, this mm. is a training that mm. can transform lives. I can I can assure you that it's like when we had the the leadership training, there was things that people have not heard before. There were concepts people did not know that exist. People were new into some of the processes. And we did not know that uh, most of us don't know that the the world is trending, trending. Things are and, uh, yeah, things, are, and, and things are changing and things are since things are changing, you must be able to adapt to some of the concepts. Some of the concepts that we have there with have been their own nose concepts. Take for instance, I give one instance in the education sector. Yesterday, yes, um, the word learn is a is a verb. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, yes, it was learned. <laughs> You have to add T there to the past. But today, it has become a regular verb. You have to say L E R N E D. Mm -hmm. Then, um, being that learnt is an old English, and this is a new one. And when you are pronouncing it for, for to be used as an adjective, you know, to be used as an adjective, you say learned man. Yeah, learned colleague. Learned yeah. colleague. Yeah. But you know, dispensation, you people say, learn man, learn man, learn man, you know, learn man. I agree something. with you. So it has, it has also, things are also changed. One example is that today, yesterday, yes, we use red pen to correct papers. They're not supposed to be today. Hmm. Yes, because the red pen has a, has a psychological, you know, impact negatively on the case. As soon as you see that their card or their grace, and oh, as how many red you get? How many mm. red you get? So psychologists have organized themselves and say, no, let's get that out. You see? Oh, so yeah, yeah. yeah. These right. are these are we're just telling you about trending issues mm -hmm. that people today you don't give a child zero for the fact that the child has corrected. I mean, you have corrected the child's people. The child had written, you know, you have something. written something. Mm -hmm. It's an indication that you need to be motivated, give you a point. Mm -hmm. You gave the quadratic equation to the to the students, and the student maybe, you know, ans attempted answering it. It doesn't mean that you have to give me a cross. So in, in 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 education leadership today, you don't give a child an X. X. Yeah, they fill in the blank. You only run the line to and put the right answer there because by you just giving a child an X, we are not here. So so you're almost months. teaching again yeah. why why you are giving the results. Yes. But you're teaching exactly. instead of just saying exactly. X. Exactly. And, and you didn't put any. So these are how some of the new concepts mm -hmm. have come into the family. Are you going to have uh, people coming to speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let, right. me, let me, if you want for me to go into some of the topics. Oh, sure. Yeah, let, sure. Me, guess, uh, let uh, me just uh, give. Because I'm waiting for my colleague, Darren Zina, because he's one of those who encouraged me to do this. Because, to do the yeah, this marriage yeah, and family life. So you just develop a little small concert note yeah. that you're going to expound with the people on exactly. Saturday. So on this, in this uh, seminar, we will talk about the definition of marriage. We'll talk about the purpose and reasons for marriage. Mm -hmm. We'll also talk about the core qualifications for marriage, the core values of marriage, wrong reason for marriage, causes and pitfalls, causes and pitfalls of divorce, family planning and communication development, concepts of marriage, and we'll talk about the real concepts of marriage. But let me, just, let me just dwell on this. You know, many people don't know that marriage is a contract. Well, sure, and, sure. And, and, and it has a social and legal implications it has a social and legal complication people from two different backgrounds but why but the the key concept here is that not only being social not only being legal but it is also economical you see mm -hmm. you don't go into marriage if you are not um, a person who has built your capacity to become independent economically 
You don't go into marriage. Meaning, meaning you should be prepared. Yeah, you don't go into marriage. Sakid. Yeah, you must know the, know the responsibilities exactly. that go with exactly. marriage. Okay. Now, so even the legal aspect, there are a lot of concepts into the process. That's why most of the time we too, as leaders, sometimes we miss, especially as church leaders, because we forget to know that marriage, if we go into it, we there are the legal concept into it. What is a legal concept? What does the law see? about this thing that you are going to. We have the social implications. How are people compatible to live together? What where background do they come from? Do they already understand those principles? Then you have the economic implication. Even the Bible talks about that. Um, if a man does not feel his family is worse than an individual, mm. there's no way that you can go into this something if you do not, if you are in broken. Into marriage. Yeah, yeah, you don't have money. It does not mean that so you, you don't want to be a liability. Exactly. Yeah. And the, one of the principles says that before you go into marriage, both persons must be independent. You must be independent socially. You must be independent. You, you have know, the ability and, to provide for exactly, the home. Exactly. So it doesn't become so, a, so in a case that one sided, one sided, mm -hmm. and both persons must be contributor to to, to the to the relationship. So in case one person there's a pitfall in the family. And one person, by the way, maybe maybe or the other gets sick, then the other person may be able to lead the affairs of the family. Mm -hmm. Maybe in case of death, the person must be strong too. So it says that both persons must be independent, independent, you know, before going into this process. So there are a lot of things that we're talking about. Let me just give you an instance of one 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 instance of qualification because there are reasons and qualification for this process. It says here, qualification of marriage. One must be independent socially and financially before you get into it. Another one says that you must be you must be fully capacitated. That is, you must have a skill because you'll be dealing with a family and you must develop that family, and you must be an income earner. And all of these principles are there, you know. In order, so we'll be discussing the purposes for marriage, reasons that you get into marriage. We will talk about the qualifications. We're talking about the values, the core values of it. We'll be talking about the reasons, wrong reasons why people get into it. Because one of the wrong reasons is that because my friend had got married. Yeah. So therefore, I'm going to get married too. That pressure from, yeah. from your peer. Oh, exactly. So my sister yeah. got married, <laughs> and, and, and if I, oh, didn't go well, but my, yeah. my, my, my wedding will be this, yeah. you know, extravagant. Yeah. And then you, you, you focus yeah. on what the sister didn't do, you would do. Yeah. And so you just walk into a marriage. Exactly. And, then and some people go to it and say, no, he has more than a friend, don't they? I must say, I got to show up. Well, you have an opportunity to counsel people who might be confronted with some of the minuses of marriage. Yeah, Maybe we get some of the skills. You have, I mean, yeah, I know you have the skills. Yeah. I'm saying at your seminar on Saturday yeah. at the uh, uh, Church of Church God, of God mm -hmm. at the Oro, uh, no, sorry, right here, here at the Junction. Junction yeah. You have to talk to people one-on-one -on -one, or you do it in the well, open? Those who want to provide for us to provide an expertise into that, okay. we can be able to do that. Because so, uh, counseling goal will come confidentiality, so I, yeah. prophecy. Well, so you can go and feel that people say, can't let me counsel you. <laughs> no, you can do that. <laughs> All right, so if you're listening to ELBC yeah. right now and uh, you want to be a part of the show, I would encourage you to call in. Uh, send your comment to, to our Facebook page. Our guest right now until 6 o'clock is Dr. Gene Tonala. He is uh, conducting, his institution is conducting a one-day marriage and family seminar, yeah. seminar mm -hmm. at the Church, Church of God, God ELBA Junction. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could be confronted with a situation that you you know you don't really know your way out. Uh, you want to come and, and listen to um, uh, building family life and, and knowing the purposes and responsibility that goes uh, with that go with marriages. So you can come on Saturday, second July. You say mm -hmm. from uh, nine to four thirty. From nine o'clock to four thirty, you don't have to pay a dime to register, but you have to no, pay, you for, pay for your yeah. food. Yeah, pay for your food. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> so, you eat, so that you eat in the morning. We'll offer, we'll offer a certificate, give you a certificate. We'll also give the lecture notes that I'm, you know that I have on hand. Both the yeah. soft and hard copies. We both soft and both, hard copy, yeah. Whatever way you want to do it, we can give you the. So this is ELBC Radio. Uh, too bad. Uh, we hope we got the technician to come and answer some question about our uh, studio base. Telephone is off. But uh, shortly, I will give you a number in the next ten minutes or uh, ten fifteen minutes so that you call and be a part of the show. Uh, thank you, uh, man. Uh, J. Alfred Tengba. He's uh, watching. He said, "Thank you, Dad. I'm watching you from." Um, Grand Jida. Benjamin Yao uh, is following the show from Zlet Town, my own place in Grand Jida County. And then uh, Momo Sengwe 
is washing from Kakata. Are you still calling this man Dr. Hmm, what do you mean? Well, uh, if you have some other information for us, you can give it why we shouldn't call him Dr. Tonala. Yeah, Kakata people know the politics now. Mm -hmm. Somebody's washing from Kakata. Uh, we are coming, following the show from uh, Zulu Whiskey. Uh, my own Zweju, my own Zweju is uh, washing. So we'll give you a number I said shortly, and, and, and under 10 minutes from now, we will be there to give you so that we make it uh, interactive. But on Saturday, uh, uh, June 2, right? Mm -hmm. uh, at the it Church of God July, Church. July 2. Oh, it's cool. This coming Saturday. June. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This coming Saturday, yeah. the, the, the theologian uh, uh, will be talking to you about family and marriage and come and learn something. Uh, nobody is too old to learn. And come and pay for your breakfast and your lunch. This is. I'm hearing myself, sir. So maybe I need to close the pot. All right. So, Daros is involved with this and doing what you said. Yo, Daros is um, he's one of our leaders on this platform. Daros is our secretary general, and and he he was one person who propounded this concept and said that um, we should we should take this into consideration as they go. As he are going on his reparatorial duties, mm -hmm. some where he, he said, as "Oh, every he time he goes, uh, works, yeah, every time he, he goes to work, yeah, he, people in he encounters people who are who engage him, and also he interact with them. And most of the problem have to do with some of the discussions that we're going to have. Okay, let me just give you one instance. All right, you know, marriage is holistic, and family life will call for a lot of disciplines." and they will call for being cautious. And you must take into consideration the mind that you have to develop. Um, only this prospect, mm. when you are taking into consideration what it is to have a family life, you must take into consideration the processes that lead to, to, this, you know, to, mm. this, to this contract that you tend to go in, yeah. which is legal, which is social, which is economical. But, one of the mistakes that people make is that they don't study it from the dynamism or from the dyna dynamics from which it goes into. When you go into this prospect, first, if you are a Christian, you can look at the biblical principle. Mm. And you are not just limited to look at the biblical principle. What does the Bible say? You must also go into the legal principle. What does the law say? Because the thing about it is that you can do everything into the church. You can be able to, to you do all of this. Well, God had put together no man that put the sun there, he finds a wife, finds a good thing, everything. But suppose it go suppose it go the other way around. Then what happens? That is to say it begins to fail. And there's no way that it is working with the pastor had talked about that. Maybe other people are intervening and there's no way and everything go ahead and scatter. What next happens is that the Bible will close and the law book will open. But then when the law book open, then then what's, what does the constitution say about it? These are things that people need to be counseled into, into knowing. On the other side of the eight is that the traditional concept. Which traditional background that I'm getting, you know, attached to? Now, given one instance, yesterday I gave one instance on the radio. The instance is that um, here is um, um, Pew. Pew was born and grew up in Lofa, in Zola. And, and all his life, he had been trained he have, his mother had cooked for him to know how to eat tobacco and put the soya on it. He had not been, he had not been um, brought up to how he can swallow a domo, how he can, you know, he can swallow domo or fufu and the rest of it. So because I, I went to school in Lofa, I went to Ziarati mm -hmm. for, for two years. So um, knowing that... That was I, after you left Bangla Methodist. Yes, I know I you were... Yeah, yeah, I went right. to Ziarati there. Okay. So why would, I mean, in our process, people is only, he knows how to make a cassava farm, but he can boil the cassava. He does not he does not beat the cassava, but he can boil the cassava and eat it, or roast the cassava and eat it. But here's a girl from Bikana. All her life, her mother had taught her how to cook fufu, how to cook domoy. But then, this girl sees people, and people sees this girl, and both of them fall in love. How can they be compatible if they are not schooled to understand the traditional background they come from mm. so that they can mm -hmm. be socially, you know, uh, uh, compatible. Or else it will become a problem. The problem now is that this girl will want to always cook her fufu, you know, for her husband, but the husband is not used to eating that. 
he's used to eating his toboggi that he might have growing up. Oh, yeah. You see? So these are contexts in which you have to look at to go into it. Now, the social aspect is that how do they live together? What's their background? And being a lady, what are some of those things? Now, take for instance, a lady, you know that women can smell more than men. I, yeah, I, women I, don't, have I, a I don't know sharp that. Nose. Women have a sharp nose for them. <laughs> I just heard yeah, this. women have a sharp nose than men. So a woman can sit here and she will smell what going on. Because I remember when we were coming, or some our mother would come and just stand at the entrance of the door. Look, I'm smelling this, I'm smelling that. You boys, your room's very stinky. Is that, is that because there. your mother smells well, so women. No, all women. Okay. God had gifted them that. Uh, I didn't know that. Smell it. Okay. Now here you are, you want to propose to this girl. But then you forget to know that. You know, your arm, you need to correct your arm. Yeah. You need to be clean. You got to brush out your mouth and all of those yeah, things. Oh, oh, yeah. Of course, they're very yeah, observant on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, here now, you know, maybe it's after maybe 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Here, you want to go and put um, some sort of secret in somebody's ear, a great ear. And that order mm, from you. The order. Uh, you know that will put it off. So people must understand. But when you got money, it's not that they don't they ignore this, the, 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 the sense of smelling them. Yeah, but then if you say that it depends on the money, it's just for a short period of time. Okay. You don't want to get fell away. Yeah, and then the money yeah. is it? dry. So, so socially, you must understand that both of you must, must, must be compatible mm. in order to live together to understand the principle of what you call socialization. Another aspect that we talk about, many people don't know is that there's no relationship that exists without money. How you keep the family? It doesn't make Yeah, how you said that like, earlier yeah, on. There's no relationship. Nobody goes into marriage yeah. broke. Although but, you don't have a, have a lot of money. No, do. not an extravagant life. Okay. You see? But you must be independent. You must be, you must be an income earner. You must be somebody who has, you know, who is able to take care of your family. In that, uh, because the Bible speaks about that. You know that you must you must be able to be to live into it in order to support your family. But then why when we go to weddings, we see the the cutting of the cake and the man is the one who putting the cake in the woman's mouth. Why? Or oh, both feels the other. Yeah. I mean each person feels the other. Yeah, because that way it is that both persons has a responsibility. Oh, so that's an indication family. that both of you should be responsible enough. Responsible. That's to feel the say that both of you must be independent. Okay. You must have an independent mind. You must have an independent social status. Before even coming together, that in oh, case the other person like, has a tendency of looking down the other. Exactly, exactly. So both person at the ratio of cutting the cake, mm -hmm. both person feel the, you know mm -hmm. you do it simultaneously mm -hmm. while you put the cake in the mm -hmm. lady's mouth. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, and even psychologically, mm -hmm. you must also, as especially if you are a pastor, you must also take into consideration the psychological component of it. You don't you don't force people so, to marry. No, but what's the room? What's the room for consideration? We are compatible. I'm socially in time. My wife to be equally of good social standing. Mm. But now, what's the guarantee that if I went on a job? Because at, at this moment, I have something that I can rely on. I have some responsibility. Mm -hmm. I have some cash. Mm -hmm. She too has some cash. Mm -hmm. But why if she went on a job? And then I, I tried to kick her around. You know, if she went on a job mm -hmm. for the fact that that's why she has qualified herself. That's why she are going to school. That's why she become skillful. Mm -hmm. That's why it says that both persons must be skillful. So if one person has a pitfall that there's no job, the family can still continue because the other person is independent. Independent and carry, carry on until that person can exactly. find another job. Yeah. Dr. Jane Tonola is our studio guest. We are focusing on LOFA, but we took a break. LOFA is basic, including these elections. And under the next uh, 27 or so minutes, uh, LOFA will close the pools. If you're in the queue, you can still vote until uh, the last person uh, uh, votes. Lofa is under the spotlight. We will take uh, uh, some calls on this show talking about marriage and uh, family life. A seminar comes on on Saturday at the Church of God, EAW Junction. Organized by what's your school name? Willamara Tubbard. Yeah, strategic leadership. That, where's the base? Our base is in Habil in Kagada. Or an yeah. annex is in Kakata. Exactly. Uh, strategic what leadership? Yes. Uh, uh, our uh, strategic leadership. So you got room for people like us to come and learn? Oh, our our <laughs> our our institution is always open. It's open to everybody. Anybody. So we do this we have three form um format of our program. We have a short range program which we do for a day or two. Uh, then we have a long range program where we offer diploma. You do that every week? No, not every week. We do it as it is necessary. Oh, uh, but classes. you organize it yeah, and organize go for a day it, or two. Then, yes. Then we have the long range program, which is a college program, as you may be aware, that mm. I run that I run an institution of higher learning. 
in, in Liberia, but it is based in Javier and it Annex is in Kakata. Okay. Yeah, they call it Trinity College of Professional Study. So that's how we do our program. So this one is just one of the short reasons. If you, if you want to if you want to build a good relationship and want to build a family life and you want to know the 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 the, the norms that, that 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 go with building a good family with your kids coming up in a happy home, you need to go to the seminar that comes on Saturday and then uh, uh, and learn. You could be having some marriage problems. Right? There are a couple of things that you don't understand about your couple and you're misreading him. What about, let me ask you a question, sir, about this, the, the, the new, like you talk about training issues and the, 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 the telephone, the cell phone has come to be a new thing for, for confrontation in marriages. Mm -hmm. So is, is my wife entitled to my phone or is, uh, is she, she minds our business with her phone and not my, my business with my phone? But The concept that a lot of people always say that um, everything should be exposed to the partner. That's not true. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work. Right. That's why it says that the, the guiding principle of it says that in as much that she is your wife, she must have some level of privacy. Okay. In as Even much your as children you, too. Yeah, you must have some level of privacy. I said, man. Even your children, you must allow them to have some level of privacy. Why the privacy uh, suspense tries to undermine my Happy marriage. Yeah, but it will depend on the type of leverage of prophecy. Of prophecy. Um, but let's get it straight. Other people may think it different. Mm. But if phone is not made for two persons, <laughs> okay. phone was made for one person. So, but um, 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 on the basis of trust, on the basis of trust, with confidence in both of you, that's how come anybody can go into your phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. But there are times too. So going to my phone should be by consent. From my perspective, okay. Yeah, from my perspective. Is there you know, anything because, you want to because, hide? Because, that you, you no, know? it's not good to hide. But sometimes, let me say it this way. Okay. You are a leader, and you, uh, because in every leadership, there's some level of confidentiality. There's some level of confidentiality because the confident, uh, confidentiality tells you that hey, there are some things that happen at the job site, and you need not to expose it to people, and you know that. Uh, women speak more than 25,000 words per day. <laughs> and men speak less than 10,000 words Another per day. Another one I'm learning yeah. now. Women speak more than, the statistics have it, women speak more than 25,000 words per day. And women, men speak less than 10,000 10, words word. per day. And you know that when this thing get into the into the ears of a wife, she has friends. She has relatives. So she go on. She, yeah. she go do she, it in good faith. Yes, oh, in my, good faith. Yeah. She, yeah. she doesn't mean harm. The only thing, yeah, you know, you know. How my husband talking about it? Yeah, but not no. Is, yeah. is you breaching. Now you will be breaching confidentiality. You see, and 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 at the result, you'll be you'll be putting uh, somebody's life. Let me hear your perspective on our conversation here with Dr. Tonala. This is ELBZ Radio, the Bumba Show. I was talking about Lofa. We have six presidents wanting to be senator. There's, there's you know, an election that's ongoing in Lofa. So far, so good, peaceful. We've heard from our strangers and correspondents. And uh, immediately after the 7 p.m. news, we will be going back to Lofa. But you are uh, part of the conversation. What's your perspective on family and marriage life? Call us on 0777-517-882, our original number. Uh, for the studio is zero eight eight zero five one four zero nine six. It's uh, out of um, energy. It's out of current. But so in 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 the time being, you can call us on zero seven 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 five one seven eight eight two. Let's hear you. Uh, when, and let's be, let, let's talk about the uh, family life. This seminar coming up. Whether you want to be a part of it or what's your perspective hello. on? Yeah, hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Reverend Dr. President and Lender from Lower John Alright. Yeah, uh, let me applaud your new guest, Dr. Tonola. I listened to him yesterday uh, on one of the sister radio stations, and the initiative is welcoming. This is what our station actually needs. Uh, when I was doing my master program in Christian counseling, I did a research, or uh, the DC I wrote, I did a research on the, uh, on the issue of broken homes. I talked about research, 10 out of every barrel home you have, about seven, 10 to 7 broken homes, or a single model of, in a, in a very society that we talk about. Mm. Uh, in the city of search, today, many pastors don't do proper counseling for marriage. So you see a lot of marriage issues, you know, about coming to broken homes, 
you see people holding a married wedding, very elaborate. But after a few months, you will see, you know. Yeah, it's not cracking, it's not breaking yeah. up. Because they kind of initiate the other point of country. Like in all the advanced countries like Brazil, you know, you see no social corporate, you know, responsibility, you know, all kinds of institutions or such initiatives. Well, on, on a regular basis, like somebody who needs to have family life, you know, just to be a thinker there, you know, conducting marriage, giving out what around here, who was happy. Okay. But I think it's a welcome, and I would tell my best to be there to contribute. All right. Uh, so I got a master's degree in that's good. So you combine your knowledge and, and teach and, people. And, but yeah, don't forget and, to and come. That's if that's I would, I would like to work with that Thank you, sir. You either eat before coming or come with $10 for okay, your breakfast will, and lunch. I will, I will, <laughs> I will yeah. call my number, then you can text me on it. No problem. No problem. Yes. All right. So he promised the, uh, you, he'll get his, his number on the show. Hello? Good evening, sir. You're live on EOBC. We're talking about family life, marriage, and family life. Uh, well, um, thank you for the program, and I thank uh, Reverend Tunnela. Reverend Tunnela, this is the boy Philip F. Tama. Mm. Um, you know, uh, Reverend Tunnela is, is creative, and I know him very well. He knows it personally, uh, despite the uh, political differences. <laughs> uh, but, uh, is, is he the one? Are you the one who wants to run in Magibi? I left him there uh, for, uh, for some years. Okay. Um, you know, he's very creative. I know him very well. I think uh, what, what I want him to do is that to decentralize this whole program because we notice that in Liberia now, uh, when it comes to these marital programs, they are on the increase. If you go to the Temple of Justice, every day you see people divorcing, and, and which is not good. And he's trying certain thing when it comes to uh, uh, Christians or Christianity. If you are married, you people are bound together, not to divorce. But we notice that in Liberia now, things are going on the rampage. Okay? But I want you to decentralize the whole uh, uh, program. And then also, I want him to really create um, a training for some of those pastors who don't carry on training uh, or counseling for their, for their church members. Because when they see that uh, 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 someone getting married in their church is, is, is beneficial for All the right. church. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother Tamba. ELBC Radio. We're taking a few more calls, and then we'll go back to Dr. Tonala. We're talking marriage. We're talking family life. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you're live on ELBC. Uh, thank you. I'm Azarel. My name is Michael Jabo. Uh, I hear the dad talking about marriage. Uh, you're attaching marriage to wealth and riches. That once you have education, once you have money, before the both uh, parties can get married. But the scriptures tell us that marriage is for God, and marriage is something that God commanded us to do. That when we get married, we will obey God's commandment, and the Lord will bless us when we obey His commandment. But I hear it's something different. Mm. And that you see, the Lord is telling us that we should do, we should get married in order to obey God's commandment. He's telling us that before we get married, we should observe our partner, whether they have money or not. Did, 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 did you really hear him say that? I hear you say that, mm -hmm. yes. That, mm -hmm. that, that, that the wife should have a skill, the man should have a skill. But mm -hmm. marriage is obedience to God's commandment. All right. The blessing that comes from there is from God. So he shouldn't teach world doctrine. Mm -hmm. uh, he, will, he will come back to, he will, he will make some clarification, I'm he sure. He will make some clarification, I'm sure. Is Nobody out. doubts that. Nobody says uh, it's yeah, not by God's about, command. No, he, I think he's trying to tell you that. Anyway, he will speak. All right, sir. He will speak for himself. He will come here. He's no, not nodding his head. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. EOBC Radio. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm Dr. Aaron Chagney. All right. Yeah, I'm calling from New Orleans. Good to have you. Disagree. Yeah, I disagree that phone is a prophecy in marriage. The two of you 
So, so your wife, so your wife, so your wife and your children know know everything about you. Come again? No, between the husband and the wife. Oh, okay. Let's put it to the husband and wife. So, so everything, so everything on your job, everything in your community that you do, or everything on your phone, your wife should should know about it. That's where the CEO taking communication bonus and trust. Trust. All right. Thank you for your contribution. Let me go back to the telephone line. The line is bustling and it's very, very interesting to know some of the uh, points. I do have some a diverse opinion on this. Hello? Hello. Yeah, you're live on ERBC. This is Patrick Nupoli. Mr. Donna, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Thank you, I'm fine. And I'm uh, glad that you should know me. Stay. I was with you in Pangi, the going to school in Guinea. I thank you. I thank to hear you on the radio. This is Patrick Mupolu. You taught me in someone here grade in Pani Revenue School. Okay, There's okay, pleasure, okay, man. Patrick. How many years gone now? Ah, uh, for that time to present, only, only talk for the second years. Good to, good to know that you're still going and remembering your professor in Guinea. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I myself at my education now, uh, I'm myself as principal in my EP and most around. So I will be very happy to meet you this afternoon. He said he will afternoon. give his number. Okay, you coming to the seminar? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I want to see you first. You can give me your flower. You ready for the video in my life? Thank okay, you. Patrick. That's good. Uh, good to be Griffa. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Yeah, my name is Griffa, and I'm Griffa Pish, and I'm from Magadam. All right, from Magibi. Magibi County. I, I just want to comment uh, the cellular uh, for the brilliant effort. Uh, you have seen that the cellular has been engaged with all the years, all the time. I'm very proud to be a senator of this county. And Charlie Sparrow is a mentor. One person I will follow uh, uh, a whole lot. I just want to comment in and encourage him to do All right. Thank you so much. All right, we appreciate it. We respond to some of the comments, especially the ones that challenging or trying to misquote him. I'm not sure I hear I heard him say that you have to have money before you get married, but somebody has a. Uh, somebody uh, differ with his opinion on uh, the phone and says uh, you can share your phone with your partner. And he says no, it should be by consent. The last person to contribute before we go to Dr. Tonala. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, uh, this is Den uh, Dr. Dento. I, I will constrain to call the second time. You know, um, the debate is getting very, very large <laughs> and <laughs> <it's> very <laughs> important. Yeah. And our brother call, you know, talk about money is not essential to be talked about in relationship. We respect his view for uh, understanding the Bible the way he do. I can understand the religious background he comes from. Because as a student of religious study, I understand everybody who onto their view the way they understand the Bible. Uh -huh. But money is very essential kind of component that we need to talk about in, in marriage. Because even the Bible said that any man that is not able to take care of his family is worse than an infidel. If he dare. You know what an infidel is? Mm. So what is he, what the Bible gives a command, we understand that marriage is a command by God that we should obey. But there are other scriptures that also guide the process. And so the Bible does not, lose, does not leave anything loose at the very end. All right, thank you. you know? yes, thank you. So don't go around marriage if you can feel your home. Yes. All right. so, okay. All right. That uh, please respond to some of the. We'll take some more calls. Please don't don't call right now. Uh, we'll, we'll take three or four more calls, but let that come in uh, with his uh, response. You know, I say I want to thank you for the this this platform you've given us, and we want to thank God for all of those who have contributed for us to have this seminar. Yeah, this is the diversions of you. Um, everybody hold on to their opinions, but there are things to go fights and fights and fights. Now, um, I spread a young man who says that um, I'm spreading false doctrine. For the matter of fact, you know that my, 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 my education is delved into deeper theology. Mm -hmm. Because my first degree, my bachelor degree, I got in theology. I'm a pastor, and I stay pastoring up until now. Even despite of my political work, I'm still pastoring. And, and, and One day we'll bring you here yeah, to, to, to draw the line. That, <laughs> and there's no way that, that, that the cut between no politics that, and religion. That, that I will go into um, a line. That is, that is contradictory to scripture. Mm. What is happening is that we are looking at marriage from a holistic point of view. We're not only looking at it from one aspect. As I said that uh, earlier, you heard me saying that for us from the Christian background, we preach what the Bible says about marriage. But at the same time, what does the law say about marriage? Mm. At the same time, 
what the, what the psychologist, what do they say about marriage? Let me come back to you. Uh, yeah. uh, somebody keeps uh, bugging the line. Uh, uh, Daros? Yes, good Yes, do it quickly. All right, thank you, sir. This is Daros Cole. I'm a quarter from Coventry. All right, my give it. Yes, my give it. Hi, Jim. It's a dollar. I'll start it. Yeah, go ahead. All right, uh, thank you very much for your presentation of the course. I'm part of the program that is part of taking for some time now. The book, if the book I want to take is a book called, it's a book that I have all indications that one of the best quality I've had over the time to be able to impart knowledge to the young generation. And I pray to, and hope to God that I'll be a part of the process on the day set aside. So I'm, by the grace of God, I'm going to pass you from CEO, please let me know as to how everything, but the will go on. All right, he said he will share his number here. Thank you. Thank you. So there's some of the questions that are not answered here or some of the concerns you have. If maybe your call not going through, you can call him on his private number and then he will give you some uh, the information. EOBC Radio, the bumper show, EOBC is dedicating his broadcast to LOFA. We will be here talking LOFA. We'll be here discussing LOFA and, and digging deep into LOFA until the, uh, the, the, the results are in. And so you can join us today, join us tomorrow, and then on the 30th of J J June, we'll still be talking LOFA and, and making sure that the process is monitored and it comes out as a peaceful election. And LOFA Clinic can now complete its uh, seat at the Librarian Senate. Dr. Tonala, let's go back to you, sir. All right, as I said, so let's take into reality. How will you live? If you don't have a support base, if you don't have a job, if you don't, if you're not doing anything to have an income, as an individual, so no, there's a no job, no respect. Yeah. So, so how, so how will you keep your family up mm. if you don't have a little income? How will you buy the children clothes? How will you dress your wife? How will you what? Tell me now. So in the absence of that, then what type of person you are? Because you say we should be able to, uh, we should, we should be able to obey God's command. That's true, but. There are, some, there are some marriages that don't even come from God. It comes from us. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't so, understand. Yeah, no. That is to say that because what God has put together, no man should put it under. So then why people go divorcing? So, if because, I, if, if because sometimes point, it can be also of the norms of God. Okay. Yeah, because we get wrong how reasons do we tell, How do we tell a marriage is in the, in, 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 within the ambient, ambient, I mean, the, sorry. You how will do we see, tell the ambient you, of you God? You will see and, understanding. You will see blessing. You will, merely you will see understanding. Mm. You see that you will take initiatives together. And you God see is, that God is yes, in there. yes. You will see that that any vision that comes up, when you will know that God has blessed you, people in the direction in which you, it will fulfill itself. And so he, he will take a wife to yeah. take a good thing. And tolerance. You will find that you be toler You you have the spirit of tolerance, mm. patience, and all the all the values that are in it. You see, but yet no peace, nothing to come. You saw the fire coming. You saw it ahead. You saw the pitfalls that you're going to go into. He said, no, what God said. Sometimes some of the decisions come from us, not from God. All right, Marco Kajo, we got your message. Let me go to the uh, to the internet on Facebook and read some of the comments coming from the internet here. We have uh, many persons contributing. The calls are interrupting our attempt to get the Facebook responses or accounts or Facebook reaction. EOBC Radio, Dr. Jane Tonala, is planning or organizing a... A marriage and family counseling program on Saturday at the Church of God, EAW Junction. If you have interest, uh, but just while I'm talking, you can start thinking about your number, yeah, so that uh, the people who couldn't go through will get their number, sir. All right, um, um, the, 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 the program will be held at Church of God mm. as you speak. There is, um, there is, there is a lady who is there by the name of Anne Fuller, she will be there with a receipt book because what happened to us. Um, the last time during the leadership conference mm. because we anticipated 200 persons and the number went overboard and it constrained us in our preparations especially feeding and the rest of it certificates and the rest of it so this time around you just go there you will see how she has a receipt she will give you the receipt and the pay get the receipt and the day of the program you just come and show this receipt to us because we don't want for you for somebody to come you know on a, a Saturday morning and say I want to be a part of it whereby you're not being part of the preparations so at Truth FM 2 um, um, Madeline Sa is there, you know, and she, she's there. You go and do the registration there. Then, of course, you can add my office too. My chief of office staff is there. You can also go there and somehow will be able to serve you. And number, my number is 086 7106. You want to get time, sir? Yes, yeah, <laughs> 086 786 7106 All right. 710653. 
So I hope you took the number down and called Dr. Jane Tonala, Senator of Margibi County, but again, he's the, uh, what's your title at your William R. Torres uh, School of Leadership? Oh, is Reverend Doctor. No, you you are the president yeah, of the executive, school, no, executive, 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 executive director. director for the center. How long has it been running? And where we started like this? You you, you bring your credit by the government librarian? Yes, yes, yes. To do what? To give a uh, associate degree or bachelor do... degree now, the Trinity College of Professional Studies. Trinity College of Professional Studies. Yes, it's accredited and is also um, it was an item in a legislature. You use your senatorial connection to, to get the enactment? I use my educational skills. Meaning that you, you met all of the criteria. Read everything. All right. Yeah. ELBC Radio. It was our pleasure having you. How, how far is the, the, the thing going with election for 2023 in my gimme? Yeah, it's going well. But at the time come, we'll let you know our own position. No, what time again? When uh, we, election is not the day of the, the, the voting. Election is now. Yeah, you, but... You live, but as a, you live as if the election is tomorrow. Yeah, it requires plenty. Are you running again? That's why I'm saying we're here for education. <laughs> <laughs> when the time comes, you're TV politics. I, I know. I, I hear <laughs> give the Caesar what is Caesar, give to God what is God. No, but so I, we come here now for education. When the time comes for politics, I'll cut you my gear. But so I, I, so I, I can tell you what I'm hearing, that the people yeah. say they want to put some money there now. <laughs> No problem. He was, I mean, he, he and I ran together. And, and you beat him? And you beat him? He, yeah. So, I mean, anybody, they think it's a platform that is free. Once you meet up the, the qualification and, and be able to convince the people, the people will do. All, all right. right. I'm yeah. too, too sorry we talk a little yeah. bit of politics. You see, the education, <laughs> yeah, education, family life. And, yeah. and so, on Saturday, Church of God, ERDA, yeah. uh, uh, if I don't run to Banga Bankani, then I'll be one of those persons who will come. Uh, maybe I eat home, yeah. but, you know. But I, I mean, I'm I'm happy about the debate. I'm really happy. We should continue. I, the, yeah, we should continue this wish, kind of conversation. I wish that we have so much time, those, right? Yeah, not only that, but those who have um, a different opinion, we can all meet at Church of God. Yeah, you know, and talk and, about and, 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 and one of the forms of private, exactly or not or private. <laughs> <laughs> because if I know, because right? I'm shocked if somebody is saying that everything about you from your job site. From, from wherever you are. For instance, I'm a pastor, and there are, sp there are specific rules on when it comes to pastoral counseling. Not everything people tell you, mm -hmm. because once you're a pastor, you will be confided. So then when the Bible so, says, so, so, then, when so, the Bible, so. then when the Bible says uh, that the two shall be one, then how does that work when you have your phone for you? Because I agree. You counseling somebody, they brought their story about yeah. you know being mis maltreated yeah. or mistreated by the husband or by the wife. Then you take and go tell your wife. Yeah, then your wife then, you tell then you your, friend. your friend. Then, then suddenly you the go and purpose of counseling now. Don't you know that you have defeated that person who are confided into you? Mm -hmm. You have broken the rule of confidentiality. There's no privacy. That person, you don't know that that, psycho, that would develop a psychological impact. But if you two are one, walk. if you two are one and you told your wife that I'm counseling that, 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 that lady because she has XYZ partner with the husband, yeah. the woman should know that she's you. She, she shouldn't tell anybody. Yeah, but that's why we're saying that. That she breaks the nut. What, what is the statistics? About what? About who speaks more than the other. Oh, 25,000 boys. <laughs> well, that makes me less. But, but, but what I think is, that's the reason why. That's the reason. Calls for discipline. Yeah, yeah, so the exactly. woman should be disciplined. Now. Exactly. I thought you were speaking 25,000 exactly. boys according yeah, to your yeah. statistics. Yeah. No, my statistics but is universal. 25,000 boys, a woman, yeah, yeah. and men would do 10,000 10, less. Yeah, less than 10,000. Oh, my God. I but you don't know that women speak more than men? Uh, well, uh, Yeah, you don't know that? <laughs> oh, I don't want to go into the, I know, right? the context of that. ELBC Radio. The women that can't beat me here. I know, but you got some women in the lessons major that are not talking to. Yeah. Although, yeah, although, although, although your statistics say the women talk more than men, yeah. but some women in the lessons major they are not talking at all. Yeah, they've been not talking on a particular issue. But by and nature. They're, they're talking home. Yeah, by nature, they are <laughs> developing themselves. On the, on the, on the little bowl. <laughs> It was a pleasure having you, Dr. Tonala. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, so we hope we, we always come so we talk about those societal issues, exactly. marriage, family exactly. life, thank drugs you. with the youth community. Mm -hmm. So thank you for coming, sir. It's a pleasure. All right, so we take a break and we'll be right back when we come.